Well, we've come to the beach to a different place tonight just to see how many people are here because where we normally go there were far too many people but this looks better seems quite quiet Well, hello everybody, this is Day four of the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown in New Zealand. We uh, really starting to get into it now. Really starting to feel the the, the enormity of this thing. Um, cabin fever starting to set in for a lot of people, including our family. I'll just shift you up a bit. Uh, the teenagers in our house decided today that they'll they'll go and do the, sh the grocery shopping to, just to get them out of the house, which is a something that doesn't happen very often. Uh, Kathy and I are both sort of keeping to ourselves a wee bit, um, not because we're arguing or fighting or anything. It's just the reality of being stuck at home with and not being out allowed out is, is really starting to to hit home and uh, while we're used to working at home and used to being at home all the time uh, we're not used to not having our freedom we like to go out we like to Kathy likes to go and meet her friends uh, I like to go out and, and do stuff um, take part in the community with what's going on so we're really starting to feel that cabin fever is uh, it's quite a thing I think get a bit of an appreciation for what it must be like to be in prison and have your, have your freedom revoked. Anyway, um, we found a nice spot on the beach today. It's not so many people in this part of the beach. I think it maybe it's a little bit further away from where the main people are. I don't know. We drove to the spot, came down here. Um, 83 New cases reported yesterday, 85 before that, but today today it's only 70 something, 76 or something like that, new cases. However, we have had our first death and I think everyone in New Zealand has finally realised just how serious this thing is, or anyone who watched the news broadcast at, mid, at 1 o'clock this afternoon and, and found out this information. And it makes you feel quite sad, really, not only for the family involved, but for the rest of us as well, because it's, it's, it's now real, and this is the start of it. And I think while the, the new cases each day, the numbers of new cases each day is going down, I think this is the calm before the storm, because there's still a lot of people coming into the country, uh, well, not huge numbers, but some and going into quarantine and that's been happening this week once those people get out and about uh, it, it may or not make a difference I don't know but I think there were a lot of people who came in prior to that who haven't had the have, weren't put into quarantine immediately as they immediately they arrived in this country will um, will undoubtedly have it and one of the things that annoys me, but it's human nature, I suppose. Is a lot of people have arrived here in Papamoa because it is a beach destination, it is a holiday destination, and it seems that a lot of people from out of town have decided to come here to spend their enforced holiday, as it were, in isolation at the beach. And it's just making matters worse because it's putting pressure on the systems. Uh, there seems to be a lot more people around, particularly on the beach. At, at least most people are, are playing the game and maintaining separation and being good about it, so it's just, it's just the way it is. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, not going to dawdle on, uh, ramble on about anything. Found a pair of kids' shoes if anyone's interested. <laughs> just sitting on a log here on the beach. And, uh, We'll call that uh, 
quits for now. It's getting a bit colder now, as you might see. I'm wearing some warm clothes. It's a bit of a cold chill in the air these days as uh, autumn sets in. So, as always, be good, be careful, behave yourself, and we'll see you tomorrow.